By the size of the crowd tonight in Michigan, you'd never know it, but say the polls, Donald Trump is losing. Oh, wow. This is a big crowd. And if those polls are correct, he will lose tomorrow, even after today's string of last minute jam packed rallies. We have five of these today, five. Five rallies in four crucial battleground states for Trump today. This one's North Carolina. At each, a key message for voters. Tomorrow you have the power to do so much for our country. You have the power to vote. So go out and vote. He even went to Joe Biden's hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania, a vital state for both candidates, a state Trump won in 2016, but where he now trails Biden. Thank you very much. Even if Thank he doesn't you. like to acknowledge it. This does not look like a second place finish. Fact is, to win re-election, Trump needs the kind of political upset not seen since the last election when he surprised the planet with a last minute win over Hillary Clinton. With an eye on that today, Trump took brutal aim at Biden. But this guy is a stone cold phony and, and honestly, he's not equipped mentally to be your president, he really is. More significantly, Trump also continued to suggest he may challenge the results of tomorrow's vote in court, especially in places where counting ballots may take days, for example, Pennsylvania. You know what can happen? Number one, cheating can happen like you've never seen. This is their dream. We'll make America Trump's dream tonight is said to be to absolutely avoid losing but with no one really knowing how far he'll go on that if the numbers don't fall his way. All right, Paul, so let's talk about that for a moment. Talk to us about Trump's plan if the vote counts disappointed. Well, the signals are that Trump will go hard on this and push back against, for example, the delays that have been allowed for the counting of mail-in ballots in Pennsylvania, ballots believed to benefit Biden. It's a battle that could go all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. As Trump has put it, we're going in with our lawyers. Adrian. All right. Paul Hunter in Washington. Thanks, Paul.